Hey gang, working on a third 4,000 today. I don't know nothing about these tractors. I didn't even know there was a third 4,000. But the issue is, won't start. And so I came out here the other day. Well, which is which here? Well, this is the ground. I came out here the other day and took a little look at it and uh, what the, the battery was dead. So then I, they had their charger here. I threw the charger on and that charger wouldn't charge the battery. It wouldn't take a charge, the battery, for some reason. I don't know what was going on. So I went and got out my charger and put that on there. And it wouldn't charge the battery either. And I fooled and fooled and fooled and I thought, well, this battery must be shot. And then all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, it started charging. Okay. Well, I can't test the battery until it's fully charged. But, so I left, went and did another service call, came back and checked it out. Yeah, now the battery was taking a charge. I turned the key, tractor fired right up. Said, yep, let's go tilling. It's got a tiller on the back. So I wanted to get that battery properly tested. And so it wasn't fully charged yet. So you can't really test them properly. You can't, you can't properly test a battery if it's not fully charged. You need a different wrench. So I pulled that battery out, took it back to the shop with me, fully charged it, tested it, tests perfectly fine. Let it sit for about three days and then checked it again. Voltage is right up there. Works perfect. So I don't know why it wouldn't take a charge originally, but it wouldn't. So then I, I uh, well, I guess before I took it out, I checked the charging system and it's not charging. The generator is not getting power. And I don't have a wiring diagram or nothing for this, so that was when I took the battery out, took it home. I needed to get a manual for this tractor anyway, so it's just faster to read the manual sometimes and to trace all these wires, especially when people have been Mickey Mouse and stuff, which I don't know if this one has had. I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. But anyway, now I just threw the battery back in. It's fully charged, and now I should be able to start this tractor. And if it starts, then I want to kick it outside where I can work in the sun. Let's see what we can figure out here. I think that's neutral. I think the battery was dead because it wasn't charging. And it probably wasn't charging last year. This tractor's been sitting all winter, right? So now it's spring, now you want to use it. nice if you can get your toolbox right close to your tractor or whatever you're working on. You don't have to walk as far then.
volt almost. The generator is only charging half a volt. So this one here should be our field wire. So that one should have some kind of power. But it's got nothing. It's dead. Oil pressure switch has 12 and a half volts almost. Okay. Now we gotta work our way up to the regulator then some, somewhere along the way here. short that out by jumping you should start getting power I can measure on here because it gets us power from the same place anyway He's got a pretty good stumble when you rev him up there. I don't really like that, but it is charging now. Um, it also, when you rev it up, it sort of stops charging, it seems like. I'm not too sure if that regulator maybe just needs to get worked a little bit again. What I basically did here, guys, is I full fielded that generator, and then it all of a sudden decided to just start charging. Uh, I'm not a generator guru. I, I'm not very well versed on these. We studied these when I was in school for heavy duty, but that was a long time ago. One of you guys that is smarter than me, explain to me what I did here. <laughs> By full fielding that, all of a sudden it started charging. Now the regulator's working and everything's going. Is that a coincidence or what's, what's up with that? Um, yeah. Not too sure, but it's working now. But a reason why I shut it off is because I want to rest it. Now I want to start it again and see if it's going to keep charging. That battery obviously is right full because it's measuring 13 volts right now. Let's fire them up again here. Neutral. Not charging right now. Not charging again. That's the generator box right down inside there. I wonder if I bang on that guy a bit. All right, well, I've been doing all kinds of work here, and here's what I figured out. If I jump 12 volts to the field winding, 
It starts to charge, it regulates the charge, everything works perfect, and it continues to work perfect until you shut the tractor off. Once the engine is shut down, it stops charging. When you go to start it again, it doesn't keep charging. So, I wound up going into my voltage regulator and doing all the voltage checks on everything in here and everything is working as it should, except that regulator is not giving power out on the fuel winding to that uh, generator. So then I went through the operation of all these guys and this guy here is the cutout coil. And this guy, when you turn your key on and start your tractor, this guy is supposed to click into the on position and it doesn't. There, there should be a secondary winding in there that pulls it in when the tractor first starts running and that's not happening. And then after the, you sh shut the tractor off, the generator stops charging, the voltage drops below whatever threshold and then this, is, this contact is supposed to pop open again. And that's, that, is, that part is working but it's not being engaged when you start the tractor and yet I have power everywhere I'm supposed to have power here. So uh, if I start the tractor and I just push that contact on like that, it starts charging and everything works fine. So I'm blaming it on the regulator. There's some uh, resistors in behind there and I think one of those resistors is burnt out and it's not allowing power to go to the secondary winding in that coil. So I ordered a new regulator and I will return another day. Mm -hmm.